Researchers at Colorado School of Mines are sending one of their projects straight to the moon, or so they hope. They've partnered up with a local aerospace company, and they're competing for actual funding from NASA. We have a team that is performing a simulation of a mining operation on the moon. Our team is taking part of the uh, centennial challenge that NASA puts out, and this is the Break the Ice Challenge. We've poured a concrete slab that's simulating the ore deposit, and then we have rover vehicles uh, that we built that are excavating, digging up the concrete, uh, which is simulating ice impregnated dirt on the moon. Lunar dirt has a fancy name, it's called regolith. And then we have to transport it from the ore deposit to our home base, which is 500 meters away. So water is a very important resource in space because you can split water into hydrogen and oxygen and make rocket fuel. They're being controlled by a off-the-shelf controller. Right now we're using Xbox controllers. My name is Tim Roslov. I'm a PhD candidate at Colorado School of Mines. Challenges like this allow us to learn more about some of the difficulties that we would need to solve. These kind of challenges provide incentive for private companies and innovators. A jackhammer and a scoop is the best way and the most efficient way to extract. My name is Justin Cyrus and I'm the CEO of Lunar Outpost. When I was a student at Colorado School of Mines, I did my master's in electrical engineering and space resources. And I grew and I learned a lot more through these types of challenges and projects uh, than I did ever just sitting in a classroom. They get hands-on experience with hardware in, in planning a big project like this, operating these kind of robots. If it's something that we as a team can contribute to for, for learning opportunities down the road to help get something like this on the moon, that'd be extraordinary. It's cool, it's space, it's robots on the moon. You know, what, can, what can be more exciting than that? If they're successful with this, the mines team could get $1.5 million in funding from NASA that they then use to continue their development of that rover to excavate and transport ice on the moon.